Hello everyone, this is Gorax. Just recently, Paladin has received an update, Star Soul Awakening. Quite a lot of players were looking at it as tower improvement rather than a whole lot of teams. Now, one thing has become clear, Melodia has risen to power and can beat any team except of Darmouth. But there is someone else who has been forgotten. Adela. I found a very successful formation with one flexible slot. The core includes castle units such as Paladin, Light Dragon, Seraph, Judicator and Sister. Kotos is also very important as he is currently one of the best buffers in the game. I am also using Emerald Dragon to utilize his ultimate skill buffs. That leaves us with last spot to fill in and at the moment it is Dark Elemental who still can deal some amazing damage. This spot will eventually be taken by Falconer, but for the time being it works down well. The main goal of this formation is to keep Light Dragon alive as long as possible as this unit will carry you to victory. I think it's worth mentioning that I am using Everlasting Tome on Light Dragon instead of any damage emblems and I could not be happier about the results. Match up against Alamar standard formation with Devil Tank and Emerald Dragon is very one-sided and I could even win using Marksman instead of Dark Elemental. And to prove it further, I even run Crass over Hydra to further show the last spot is very flexible. However, some players did not like it and challenged me to run it into stronger Alamar with Venom Spoon Tank that has maxed out banner, which I accepted and once again I emerged victorious. But that was not enough and they wanted me to run it into a stronger of the two tanks. So I complied and while the first fight was a timeout, I moved Dark Elemental into a better position to face Devil Tank head on and once again I emerged victorious. Now you might be thinking, is Adela really that strong? Well while Adela has better results with that formation than Darmouth, yes I even tried that but it did not work, it is all about Light Dragon who is incredible against Alamar which I showed during my live stream, as well as previously with Melodia and E9. Next step was obviously to try this formation against other heroes. First was something that Melodia struggled against, Darmouth. And while I managed to time out one fight, the next few were lost. Darmouth once again shows her power, especially now, with Paladin's Star Awakening, she can only be beaten by Alamar. Next, I fought Kof, who is still praised as one of the best teams by many, but I would disagree. Hopefully, addition of Kraken will change that. My first fight resulted in timeout. However, next fights were a solid victory on Adela's side. Once again, Light Dragon was topping the damage charts while getting all the support he needs. So far, I had similar results to Melodia's Rampart against the same teams, so the next step was to face her. And I must say that this has been challenging and I could not score a win, but sometimes a timeout here and there. It again shows how good Rampart currently is with Paladin Star Soul Awakening, and I did not use Kotos in that formation. If you have been following my channel, you could see recently that I started praising E9 and Conflux Castle combo, and here you can see why. Inion was able to win in most scenarios, although Adela did manage to stand her ground for quite a while, and even timed out. That was quite surprising as this Anian team deals ton of melee damage, which you could see in the first video where the front line of Adela just crumbled. What about other teams? 
that are currently way weaker, how does Adela do against them? Borago's stronghold could not make a dent into the Adela's team. Well, at least not until I added Kotos, who helped Borago's team stay alive long enough to time out. Once again, showing how strong Kotos is. Hopefully, by now you got him. Lastly, I wanted to fight the forces of Hell, who recently received amazing Blaze and Cinder. Obviously, I did not include them in the team, as they are too squishy. And as expected, Inferno was the weaker team. However, surprisingly, when I ran into a weaker tank, Venom Spawn, Inferno was able to time out. In the end, I found this team working well against Alamar and Samafi, on top of other weak teams, but there is a still big gap between this formation and Darmif or even Melodia. What do you think? Please share your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like, and if you have not done it yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching, stay safe, bye!